Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I know we are running a little bit behind. We've been extremely busy with work, um, with consultations that have been extremely crazy the past couple of months, and with everything that's going on around the world. I do want to take the time um, to wish you guys i hope that every single one of you guys is being safe and that you and your families are uh, doing good in these uh, crazy and uncertain times and i ask you guys to put out love into the universe um, we all have tons of opinions we all have uh, i know that we are experiencing <clears throat> tensions are running very high right now but i ask you i urge you uh, to always try to to always try to put out love energy as that is what we're lacking uh, in this society and in this present time. Um, so be mindful, be compassionate, uh, be understanding, or at least try to be understanding. Um, anyways, let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2020. All right. So your first card is the two of wands and the empress card. Okay. So Pisces, um, in the present, you may be experiencing, um, you may be experiencing or currently dealing with a situation that has to do with partnerships. Uh, we do have the Empress card here, and this is the number three. Um, so it could be sing uh, signaling or speaking about third party energies. Now, this could be that you're dealing with that current situation, or it could be, um, that you yourself are dealing with emotions that perhaps you've connected with someone outside of your relationship um, and it could be not necessarily in regards to um, not necessarily having to do with cheating in itself uh, but there is an emotional attachment or emotional situation that has you in some sh in some shape um, binded to a uh, outsider of your partnership or your relationship. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, this could signify that you're currently uh, dealing with a situation that involves uh, partnerships. So it could be business partnerships. It could be um, thinking or wanting to get some type of assistance, whether it be a loan, um, anything of that aspect. Uh, like I said, not necessarily with love. But with the Empress card here as an obstacle, what they're telling you is that in the present time, you need to tr try to be a little bit more mindful. The Empress is all about opulence, abundance, uh, understanding and love as it is, as it is <clears throat> ruled by Venus. Um, but in the negative, which it is coming out as an obstacle, it usually indicates being a bit selfish, uh, being a bit disconnected with those around you and thinking more of yourself. So if you are currently dealing with the situation, um, what they're saying here in the present is that you need to be more grounded or you need to step out of your own perception of situation or, or the way you're viewing the situation. And they're urging you to um, get or like literally put yourself in someone else's shoes, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Now, in the past and passing, we had the Ace of uh, Coins, which is indicating, again, for some of you guys, this could have to do with business, finances, your job, perhaps. Um, now, if this is a dynamic that has to do with your finances, meaning with work-wise, what they're telling you is that uh, perhaps in the past you overdid, overachieved, or you were the type of person to assist those around you. And what they're telling you here with the Empress as an obstacle takes a whole different meaning because what they're saying is it's time for you to be selfish. It's time for you to think of yourself and stop allowing people to take advantage of you. Uh, this is directly connected or in a connection with business and finances. So if you are dealing with that, like I said, uh, keep in mind that it is important, yes, to uh, do for those around us. But at the same time, you got to make sure that you are also being taken care of. And if you're not, you need to start speaking up. OK, now what's unfolding before you is the high priestess. Listen to your intuition, Pisces. You have the three of coins. So again, we have two threes here. 
um, an indicative of a situation that um, is needing uh, some type of a group, uh, some type of an outsource to give uh, a different perception. So if you guys are currently dealing, as an example, uh, you may be contemplating moving or changing jobs. For others of you, because of what's going on around the world, perhaps there was um, lack of work uh, and now you're looking to start in a new company or something that has to do with uh, stepping away from where you currently are. And what they're saying here is that perhaps the dynamic is quickly going to change, but it's going to be for the better. And uh, we do have the Ten of Swords. So struggles, if you guys have been dealing with issues with finances, the struggles are quick, uh, quickly coming to an end. Now, please keep in mind, we just recently did experience a full moon eclipse. So when eclipses happen, um, major transformations take, you know, take change. And the reason for that is even in our birth chart or natal chart, uh, when we have eclipses, those are when we have major transformations, whether it's relationships, whether it's um, changing perhaps a residency from somewhere you've been living the past 15 years, etc. So there's major transformation uh, energy that's happening here, Pisces, with the Ten of Swords. Now, if you are currently dealing with a third party situation, what they're saying here is, again, Listen to your intuition, Pisces, because something or someone, it could be a spirit guide that's guiding you and that is telling you, you need to end what is not working for you anymore. And that includes if you're in a, in a relationship and uh, there's been hesitation of walking away or there's been hesitation of ending the relationship and you are actually starting something new. So keep in mind that which we put out comes back to us. So you don't want to start a relationship uh on flimsy stands or on flimsy uh, land, basically. So what they're saying is if you want to start a new beginning, make sure that you start it off right, okay? Now, you have the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment coming towards you with the star card. Again, planet alignments in your favor. You have the Four of Cups as well here, and you have the Six of Swords. So there is a lot of moving on, moving away. This could even represent for some of you guys, if you have the notion or the need to communicate with those from your past or past relationships, when things are not working out in your current relationship, you have a tendency of either embracing those from your past or communicating with them. And what they're telling you is that it's time for you to take a stance, a Pisces. Love yourself enough to walk away from that. That doesn't work for you. If you're trying to fix a relationship that has been broken and it, you know, they continuously keep giving you reasons to uh, doubt or question where you stand with them, it's time to walk away. Now, for those of you guys that are single, I do see new beginnings and transformation. For some of you guys, love coming in the horizon. For some of you guys, it could be with a uh, earth energy, Pisces, sorry, Cancer Scorp, uh, not Pisces, I apologize, um, Earth energy, Taurus, uh, Virgo, or Capricorn. For others of you, you may be dealing with an Aquarius that's coming towards you. Um, so again, keep your mind, your heart, uh, and your options open. Don't settle if something's not working out for you because again, like I said, whether you take it um, head on and embrace those changes or whether you resist them, the universe is going to align everything for you uh, to basically do that change for you whether you're ready or not so again uh, anything that hasn't been working for you it's time for you to really uh, accept what is and see things from uh, a practical stance okay so i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon bye